buffalo chicken cheesesteak. A request we couldn't pass up and can't wait to throw down on the Blackstone. You want to see our take on this buffalo chicken cheesesteak? Then stick around while we dig, dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the, the Wall, Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these cooks that we do here on the Blackstone Griddle, especially these requested cooks. Love these. That we're, it was a requested cook, let's be honest. The second we saw it, we started talking about it, we're like, oh, we gotta do that yeah. Yeah. now, so. Exactly, a couple people to shout out for Yes, this first of all, Todd Carpenter, thank you for the recommendation also. We, when we went to go do a little research, we obviously we saw Blackstone Betty's take, yes. and of course, you gotta show the love to Blackstone Betty who does all of these in such a phenomenal amazing, way. Amazing, amazing so, cooks. So get a chance, you gotta check out Blackstone Betty on her channel, on Blackstone Griddles channel as well, and Family style. on Instagram, Facebook, all the others. But <laughs> Any social platform, you're gonna find Blackstone Betty. <laughs> you're gonna find Blackstone Betty, Betty <laughs> and all her plethora yes. of amazing cooks and recipes. So quick shout out to you all. And Brett, I'm so excited to do this one and our take on this one. Yes. This should be simple. It's going to be as we always say. As we always say. <laughs> but let's get to the grocery so people know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, here's what we are looking at. So this is very simple. Uh, just a few ingredients. Of course, we got chicken breast that we've cut up here. Provolone cheese. We're going to use these Sam's Club hoagie rolls. We're going to be seasoning the chicken, by the way, with the usual suspects. Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce and Ranch as well. Right, and so the thing is a lot of people talk about with this Frank's uh, Red Hot Sauce, we thought about doing our own from scratch. We thought, you know what, let's keep this one simple. And we love uh, this stuff. Show how you can do this. We do love this we stuff. We put it on everything. We do, <laughs> I think that's the whole point, right? Yeah. But no, this is their Red Hot Wing Sauce. We do make our own sometimes actually using the Frank's Hot Sauce. And then if you do want to make this a little bit more mild, you put a little butter in it. We're actually just going to be putting this right into our chicken. Yeah. So it's going to have some kick to it. It'll be probably a little more north than I normally like, but right. it will be cooled with the ranch. So Right, so people ask us all the time where we're cooking at. We are at medium low. So we've got the two middle burners on. The outsides, we're not going to be cooking there. We will actually be tossing the rolls on from the outside at some point to really get hot on the outside like we would with our Philly cheesesteaks. And uh, so right now, the way Brett puts it, it's 35 after the hour if you're looking at a clock. That's going to be medium low. So we're looking at the top part of low, bottom part of medium. And that's right where typically we do the majority of our yep, cooking. 35 after the hour. And people ask us why. The reason is for that, we, it gives us the chance to really control the cook. Yep. If we're doing some hot cooks, like we're doing some smash burgers, we'll bring the heat up. Some shrimp. Imme immediately, shrimp, anything like that. But when we know we want to control a little bit more, we start there because then we can go down a little bit if we need to. We can crank it up if we need to. But otherwise, that's right where we are. And that's a long explanation for, for all of that. For a short question that was never asked. <laughs> so, uh, not pictured, uh, we did forget our vegetable oil, which we'll be tossing the chicken which in. Which you don't want to forget when right. you throw the chicken down. Trust me. Also, please stick around because we do have a gift, a, a box, an unboxing for a mail time segment from Jim DeGraff. Another shout Jim out to Jim. Jim DeGraff. He Jim is out to me often. He's right. been so excited for this. He's checking in on the daily and Jim, the day is finally here. I'm so excited. We always love these mail time segments, so we're super happy. Jim and Aaron, thank you so much. We can't wait to get into that. Another great shout out to you guys. But Brett, let's go ahead and get to the cook, man. Yeah, let's do it. Nice. Brett is going to get us started. He said, Adam, I at least want to start the chicken. I said, all right, you do your thing. Then I'll come in and chop it. Now, we did have to make some adjustments to the camera, so we've been actually, uh, this has been burning for more than 10 minutes. This thing is really hot. So we turned it all the way down low for a little bit. Now we're gonna put it back at medium low. Again, that's about 35, 35. after the hour. Yep. And uh, Brett's gonna throw some oil on it. We're gonna get it cooking. You're gonna hear the sizzle of the chicken. There we go. The crowd's about to go wild. Your weapon of choice, my guy? Yes, my Now, this brother. is two chicken breasts that we've got going on right here. All right. Now, we go very liberal with the usual suspects on this. Chicken is a very, uh, very bland taste by itself. So you really want to season it up. So right. that's what we do. That's right. And I just completely came in and took over Brett's cooking job. <laughs> I go to put the usual suspects up and Adam commandeers my duties. <laughs> that's fine. I'll just sit here and take in the smells. So with these rolls, we're not gonna toast them up on the inside or anything, but we do want them hot. So I start to put them on the indirect heat. Over here, this plate is really hot. The uh, other side of the griddle, even though this isn't on, this is really hot. We'll just let them sit there, let them get really toasty on the outside, which will get them nice and soft, and they'll be perfect. All right, so, uh, so we do start with these cubed up, and then I eventually just take my scraping tool or even my other, I love this little spatula scraper. This little, this thing is awesome. 
We use it for everything as well. And now I'm going to start, yeah, I'm gonna start <laughs> to spackle on some drywall spackle. when we're done. <laughs> really clean it though. No. <laughs> Really, we at least make sure it's rinsed off before yeah. we do some cooking. Or it. licked by Chloe. <laughs> oh man! All right, so once Adam gets this chopped down to minced, basically, I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the Franks. Oh man! So again, we're just watching the easy. Oh, those are nice and toasty. Feel how hot those are, Brett. Oh, jeez! <laughs> yeah. Is that a trick? <laughs> Got him! Got him! Now, if you don't have usual suspects or you don't know what that is, by the way, we do post that in the description below the video. You can use salt and pepper, works excellent. We salt and pepper forever we use, so don't forget to check in the description below this video. Also in the description is a link to our merchandise store where you can find aprons. Whole aprons are about back in stock, which is awesome. They were gone for a little while. It was yeah. hard to see. Yeah. And underneath these shirts, we've got our Griddle Me This Fat Man shirts. I'll show the video of that right there that you can see at this store as well. Uh, a lot of merchandise, a lot of goodies that we have there that we absolutely love. Our merchandise is uh, brought to you through digital promotions that works closely with Crossroads Missions. Crossroads Missions offer charity and service not only throughout the, the, United, the, States. the United States, they're actually, global. They're global. They're they are global. They are worldwide. Help. They absolutely. help wherever the help is needed. It's an amazing organization. You can learn more about them in the description below this video. And the, and the reason why Adam brought that up is because a portion of all the proceeds to merchandise purchased through the Wall Twins uh, site goes to the Crossroads Missions. That's We're right. just about ready, so see, as soon as I get these all chopped down, this chicken is cooked all the way through. Super juicy, super tender. Man, I'm gonna leave some of these with slightly bigger chunks. Okay. All right, dude, so go ahead and get that sauce. Now, we are ranch dudes, we love ranch. We'll put ranch on just about everything, just like our Franks. Brett will put ranch, Pretty Just much about everywhere. everything. Waffles, <laughs> pancakes, cereal. No, I won't go that it's far. That's not true. But, but I do, in fact, I will judge a restaurant by the ranch, how good the ranch is, and that will also determine whether I return to said restaurant. Establishment. We always return to the Wall Twins restaurant because we make some amazing ranch. We do. And uh, HBR, baby. <laughs> and how then uh, keep going, bro. Okay, that's good. Let's mix that in. A little with Frank's goes a long yeah, way. Yeah, by the way, a uh, half cup to a three quarters cup. And we'll end up with about a cup and a half, two cups. We're just eyeballing this. You can put as much or as little as you want in here. Again, obviously the more you put, the hotter this is going to be. Obby. And we want, oh, smell that. Yes. Oh my gosh. Let's put a little bit more. Ding the nostrils. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna top this with provolone, just like we would if these were really cheese steaks. And then at the end, we will drizzle some ranch on it because we like it. If you like blue cheese, you can put blue cheese on it. You don't have to put any sauce if you don't want. If you just want that pure, I like the ranch because it cools it down and it Absolutely. gives it some great that, flavor. And that's exactly what I said when Adam and I were talking about it. Okay, bro, let's go ahead and let's get these. You want two slices per? Yep. I need two per. Give me two per. Like to make these even. We'll save this for somebody else after. So again, this was two chicken breasts chopped up. As soon as Brett gets the cheese on and we're sitting here waiting for it, we're gonna dome this up. We're gonna start our B-roll footage. So I think at this point, we're just about ready for it, right? That's so right. let's go ahead and let's get this domed up here real quick. All right, let's get the cheese on. Okay. The cheese is on. The cheese is on. Oh, 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 oh. The cheese now it's officially is on. on. All right, let's go ahead and let's uh, get some steam. People have asked us why we use water. Water helps with the steam process because that steam is really going to help melt that cheese. So that way the chicken doesn't have to sit on for too long. Because sometimes you don't, that's the problem. You worry about chicken cooking too long and then you kind of start to worry about burning, which we're not trying to do. But I think at this point, we're just about ready for some B-roll. What do you think, Cannon? We're just good? All right, buddy, let's get this going.
All right, you guys know the drill. Normally right now we're holding this up and we're going like, we can't wait to dig in. Brett's like, Adam, this needs to sit at least five. <laughs> we're not gonna be able to taste any more food for the rest of the weekend <laughs> if we do this right now. So we thought we'd take a quick minute, do our uh, do our mail time segment right now. Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. Okay, that oh, we, yeah, you know, yeah, we're yeah. going with that. But with Jim DeGraff, let's go ahead and dig in and see what we got going on here. All right, so here we go, bro. Let's dig into here. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Let's oh, see what shit. we got. <laughs> this is for us. This is for us. Adam. Okay, grab that can. All right. What do we got there? Hot dog sauce. Hot dog sauce. Hot dog sauce. Hot dog sauce. sauce. Tony Paco's Don't... hot dog sauce. This... Oh my God. So I, bet, I wonder if it's like Coney me? Island. It is dogs. with beef. I'll guarantee that's what it is. I'm excited for that. Now this, he told me what it is. So I already know. I already know. Uh, what yep. is this? Yep. Shut the front door. Pickles yep. and peppers. Yep. Oh my word. Now he was telling you something that his wife loves this. Aaron loves this. What is that? What's the deal with that? Yeah. She loves them. <laughs> oh, yeah, actually what he said is that they will eat a whole jar while watching a movie. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna have to give these a go. Right now. Should we open and try it right Let's now? Let's try it right now. Do a little taste test. <laughs> you, do you need an adult? Cannon, you wanna get these for us? <laughs> okay, okay, let's try a pickle. Eat. It smells Amazing. like pickles. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my, my brother. Mmm. Give one to Cannon. That is Bro, oh my gosh, that little kick at the end there. I can see why those go down during a movie. Oh that. my God, is that, is that pepper. pepper? Is that pepper, chini pepper? That's my favorite pepper. Here's the problem, Jim. We're gonna end up eating this whole jar right here. Oh my God, my mouth is... That to try. Now we understand. So what brand is it? Tony Paco's. These are pickles and peppers, the originals. We're gonna have to try to find, see if we can find these anywhere down here in the Orlando area. Jim, Aaron, thank you guys so much once again. We are so humbled and just so grateful for the wonderful things you guys send us. Yep. This means so much to us and we cannot thank you enough. Perfect kind of to get our mouths ready for these, uh, these sandwiches. buffalo chicken cheese steaks. Ooh, I wonder if we should put some the bread. pickles on there. <laughs> oh my gosh, like we say, it can look amazing. This looks amazing. Like we say though, it can uh, smell amazing. I definitely know that I've mentioned it one or two one times. One or two times you may have, but if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for not. not. Cheers, I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. Mm -hmm. It's real hot. Oh my gosh. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a bangers on our hand, a banger on our hands Dude, right here. The cheese that crisped up on that. Oh my gosh, Just that's amazing. Down. I'm literally dripping sauce everywhere. I know. I thought that the French was gonna be a little too hot. Cause like I said, I usually mellow it, mellow it out with butter for like wings, but yeah, the ranch absolutely cools it off. Of course, the provolone as well, which adds in this amazing creaminess with the ranch and I, the hoagie rolls. There's, you know, I love when we get surprised by dishes. This one, I got to say, I'm not surprised because it is it, it delivered exactly very true, very exactly true. what I hoped this would. It is exactly what I thought it was. The usual suspects brought out a ton of flavor in the chicken, that Frank's hot sauce, and of course the cooling, the cooling effect of the ranch. Perfect. If you don't like ranch, we get called out every time we use ranch. We, 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 <laughs> we get it. It's all in banter. We're it's not all blue cheese people. Every we palate get is it. different, just like and you prints. do you boo the way we always say. You gotta do this. And use your favorite buffalo sauce, whatever it is. This is such a simple cook. And it takes it to the next level. It's something else, it's something different. It was super simple. We were looking the total cook time from the time we started with our talking points. 11 minutes. 11 minutes. minutes. Cooking the chicken, getting the sauce in there, prepping it. I mean, it melted so quick. We had less than two minutes, a minute and a half for the cheese to melt if, and get that oh, on. If that, absolutely. And when we pulled up the second one, the one that I chose actually, that had some melted cheese on there. That cheese just went well, right the, through. Well, the, well, the cheese was actually like uh, bubbling on the Blackstone. So it got right. that nice, the cheese that I like that comes off the oh, side of the so crust good. of pizza. Yeah, That's what that's I like what and that's what it was. What it was. So, was. dude. Uh, you know what? We absolutely love doing this one. You know what else we love, Brett? Our Patreons. Yes, Thank you do. so much to <laughs> our griddle like entourage. <laughs> of course we love our Patreons. Yeah, Patreon is a multi-tiered system where you have a little more access to the Wall Twins. You can check that out. All, all the, It's in the description below. That's right. We love our griddle entourage. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you give us. We absolutely love having you along for the journey. But Brett, aside from coming to make this banger sandwich, why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. With that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on!